rooms for us. Have you ever seen things that weren't there before? I am not imagining this. Surviving is a choice. Yep. I want to yep. let me out of here now. Yep. 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 That's why they chose us. And they all look. Yeah. After seeing this film, I'm gonna have to change my mind if I ever want to go to an escape room. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Escape Room. I really do appreciate it. Man, when I went to go see this, I was this close to going into this film completely blind, seeing no trailers. But literally, like five or ten minutes before it started, I pulled out my phone, I looked at the trailer, I was like, oh, snap, this is what I'm in for? So, if you don't know, Escape Room is about an escape room. You've heard it before in marketing. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. But Escape Rooms is where it's, it's like a real life uh, mysterious event to where you go into a room. You, you, you know, you pay, you go sign up. You go into a room and you try to escape. But when you go into the room, like, the obvious escape may not be the door. You may pull the door handle and the door handle may come off. You have to find clues to get out of the room. Now, I've never done one before, but I heard about them and I hear that they can be pretty fun and pretty difficult. I also hear that if you're claustrophobic, you probably don't want to do it because that would just be bad. But that's what this film right here centers around. Now, when I was watching the film, an uh, easy description that you can um, sum it up to is a new age reinvention of the Saw movie or the Saw franchise. Um, and, and I like that. And it, you can say that you, it does have those similarities without uh, it being a complete copycat of that film. Now, this film right here is being directed by Adam Robitel. I've never heard of him before, uh, but he is behind um, the um, the Insidious films. He's done a number of shorts films, but the last Insidious film that came out, the uh, Insidious, The Last Key, uh, which came out earlier this year, January, uh, nearly a year ago, uh, he is behind that film, and so he also did direct this film right here, um, Escape Room. And the cast, uh, you know, it. The, I'm not too familiar with the cast other than Mr. J. Ellis. He plays somebody named Jason. If you know J. Ellis, he he's in Insecure, or I don't know if he's really in Insecure season three. Uh, I, I'm behind on that season. He was in season one and season two, and I liked. I think his acting was pretty good in 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 that series. I also think his acting was pretty good in the game, which used to be on BET, and I think another channel before that and you know you're not the best actor in the world but you know it's serviceable i liked him and this film right here i really wasn't feeling his role um the acting just was not the best it's actually kind of bad at some point in times i mean he's trying to play some corporate you know big boss executive and he comes across like oh yes larry after the board meeting we're gonna go over to bangkok then fly over to miami and have hot dogs and hummus with avocados <laughs> You know, I, I, that's just how I came across, and I just really wasn't feeling him in this role. Um, but everybody else, I think they did a great job. The uh, the next main character um, in this film is by the name of Taylor Russell. Uh, she plays Zoe, and she's more of the thinker. She thinks outside the box. You know, she is one of the other main protagonists in this film, and she was fine. Uh, but the rest of the characters, I mean, they're fine too. It's just a, a, a gang of random people that actually I was about to spoil the film, and I don't want to spoil it for you, but it's just a gang of, uh, of, of random citizens that are thrown into the situation. And they have to put all the differences aside and just come together to make it out because when they if they follow the the clues in these escape rooms if they don't get it in the in the right nick of time they're gonna die or whatever so it is fatal you know what I'm saying and the deaths that they come up with in this film are very creative just like the saw films you know I always when I've gone to those films I always want to see something new and every time um, the these characters go into a new escape room it is extravagant um, it is concise. It's 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 scary and it's, it's mysterious, you know, and and you're just like, man, how are they gonna get out of this situation? Who in the world is thinking of these traps and like how long did it take? I mean, and it's 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 also just goes to show how sick people are to where they would come up with some type of thing. And I like at the very beginning of the film and just throughout, you're kind of asking yourself, like, okay, who is behind all this? What is the reasoning and all this? And as you're going through the film, you're as the characters are trying to find out the clues to get to the next room to survive, you're trying to get clues and piece together stuff in here and there. And sometimes the camera 
camera tricks you, it focuses on one object a little bit longer than other. And you're like, okay, that's going to come back later. You know what I'm saying? And maybe it does and maybe it doesn't. And I like how the film plays, uh, I, I like how the film teases you and it does that because they I mean, uh, there, there were a lot of elements in this film um, that were just new and fresh that I didn't see before. And I was entertained throughout. I mean, the, the, these escape rooms are very extra extravagant and elaborate. And, you know, they're really hustling, trying to survive and get through this. And while times the acting was poor with a couple of characters, uh, other times it really did shine through as far as the severity of the situation and just how, you know, like, man, they are they are in a twister and they just need to get out of here or whatever. Now, the disappointing thing in it that just kind of ru really ruins the whole film to me uh, is just the ending. It sucked. But before I uh, elaborate on that, just... Also, just something, the budget of this film was $10 million, which is fairly cheap. I thought with the cast, it could have been even cheaper, but, you know, that was fairly cheap. And I don't care about a budget. I mean, as long, if, you can get a, if you can get a job done with $100, you can get a done, job done with $100. And for the majority of the time, you really couldn't tell that the budget was cheap in this film. Up until there was a few flashback scenes where they tried to um, delve a little bit deeper into the uh, character's backup. Not, not backup, but a uh, backstory. Uh, I was like, oh, okay, you can really tell that this, this is a low budget. But the ending of this film pretty much ruined it for me. I, I was really pissed off. The ending of Saw paid off to me. There was another ending. There was another film. I, I forgot the... Um the name of it, the Belco experiment, where people are locked in and they have to escape. I like the ending. The ending in that film was so so, um, but it was much better than this film right here. When this film ended, I mean, you're wanting the answers. You want to know how everything ties together and who is behind everything. And they do answer that for you, but the way it, it, it comes off on screen is something like, really? That's cheap. You guys just really couldn't think of anything better to do. And you just kind of wrote up some BS at the end. It was like, okay, here, we don't know what to do, but we're just going to finish the film. You know, whatever. I did my best. I don't really think you did your best with this ending, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. Um, And I, I was going to give this film high praises, but, you know, because of the suck face ending and, and, and um, I just have to give this film. If I had to rate Escape Room out of a 1 out of 10, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Yes, a 6 out of 10. That's my lowest passing grade. Uh, when this film ended, everybody was like, hmm. You know, but hey, guys, do you want to see it? That is just my opinion for Escape Room, or have you already seen it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me, or do you disagree with me? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. If you don't, it's fine, but you can still subscribe to my channel. You can also look me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All that good stuff It's right there at the bottom of your screen, and I made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below but guys i just want to thank you again for tuning into my opinion slash review for escape room and before you go don't forget that my name is brandon keith avery and that's just my opinion peace